Hey guys, a uh, long time no talk. Sorry about the delay. I just been uh, waiting for uh, my nursing school orientation to update you guys again. Uh, my nursing school orientation was yesterday, and it was re it went really well. Uh, it was kind of uneventful. Uh, I wasn't really disappointed, but I thought maybe we'd have a little bit more. Uh, stuff going on than we really had, but uh, we got there at 9 a.m., which uh, was interesting. I haven't had to get up and be anywhere at 9 a.m. for a while. I guess that's kind of lame, but I usually get up at 9 a.m., so it was uh, it was interesting getting up uh, early and getting ready, but I was very excited. I was a little nervous. I wasn't really sure what to expect, but it was, uh, you know, it was nothing big. We just sat in a room. Uh, we got introduced to all of our teachers who I'm really excited about. Um, um, there, there's like a woman in the nursing office who's basically the only nursing person I have had any contact with, and needless to say, she's not very nice. Um, so I was a little intimidated about teachers and about the teachers, and you just kind of hear stuff about nursing school teachers sometimes, but all of them just seemed incredibly, incredibly nice. So I was really excited about that. Um, they seem really personable and down to earth, and uh, not scary like I kind of was imagining. So that's great. Um, they just went over uh, our syllabus, uh, I mean our student handbook, uh, told us about the syllabuses uh, we had to, that we would need to purchase. Um, they told us about our schedule, uh, when clinicals are, stuff about our uniforms, you know, stuff like that. So it was just basically really an orientation for nursing school. They basically told us that they're, uh, you know, expecting a lot of us, but that if we work hard, then we'll be able to succeed and stuff like that. And uh, they also told us, uh, you know, that if you need help, you know, that, that you can always come to them and stuff. So that was really nice and reassuring. Uh, they said that, you know, you have to put in the effort, but that if you try, they'll help you and, and stuff like that. So that's really a nice a nice thing, I thought. It was reassuring and uh, stuff like that. Um, as far as my class, it looks like it's a pretty decently sized class. I believe there's 43 people in it. I'm not 100% sure on that, but... I tried to kind of mentally count in there, but it was kind of hard. Um, there are two men in our class, uh, so I was kind of disappointed in that. I was hoping there would be a little bit more, because uh, my father is a nurse, and I also, I think I have a couple uh, male viewers, but um, hopefully they won't be too um, put off by being the only guys there. I mean, I'm sure, you know, being a male going into nursing, they realized that they were going to be outnumbered slightly, but um, that would be intimidating for me if I was the only girl going into something like that with a, a lot of men, but maybe it's different for guys, but I'm sure they'll do very, very well. Um, other than that, uh, orientation uh, just kind of flew by. We all went to the bookstore afterwards and started getting some of our books. Um, I've been trying to buy mine offline because, you know, or on, I'm sorry, online, not offline, uh, because, you know, it's cheaper most of the time, but uh, by the time I went to the bookstore, I realized that even on Amazon, uh, some of the prices of the used books at my bookstore were, you know, give or take a dollar or two, so I was like, I might as well just go ahead and get them. I am still waiting to get one book, though. It is my uh, medical surgical nursing book, and it is my most expensive book, and I've been trying and trying to find a cheaper version of it somewhere, and so far the cheapest copy I can find is like $110, so I don't have that much more time. Um, and I'm hoping maybe, maybe I can find a cheaper copy, but we'll see. I'm going to have to order it sometime, uh, either tomorrow or, yeah, I don't know. It's it's kind of kind of close, I know, but financial aid hasn't been released yet, so that's kind of another thing I'm waiting on. Um, but they told us, you know, at orientation, there's only, you know, they had understood about the financial aid thing. If we And if we could only get a couple books now, then they would understand. But anyways, uh, I'm just going to go like right along on this because I think I'm already talking too much. Uh, I'm just going to show you all some of the stuff uh, that I've gotten so far of my books. Uh, this first book is called the Mosby's Manual of Diagnostic and Laboratory Tests. It's basically a book that uh, tells you like the tests that you'll be um, encountering in clinicals, like about you know blood cell count and stuff like that. Um, it looks like it's a pretty well done book. It's got um, you know pictures. It's got you know color coded um, stuff on the side, so you can kind of um, you know find what you're really looking for. I haven't looked through this a whole lot because I just now got this yesterday, but it looks like it's you know just really good. I had to get this one uh, brand new because they didn't have any used copies of it, but. Uh, one nice thing they did tell us at orientation, though, was that the books that we get this first semester, we use them throughout the entire program. So it does seem like a lot um, at first, but you do get to use them throughout the whole entire program, and then you only have to buy, like, a couple more books throughout the whole entire program. So that's really nice. Um, the next book is probably one that's universal throughout a lot of nursing schools. This is the Davis's Drug Guide for Nurses, uh, 12th edition. 
Um, it comes with a CD-ROM, which is really cool. Um, and it just tells you, you know, about all the drugs, drug interactions, patient education, stuff like that. I think it has pictures in here of drugs. Maybe not. Actually, it doesn't look like it does. That kind of sucks. But anyways, um, I'm sure some of, one of our other books has pictures of the medicine in there. But I'm sure this is something I'll be using a lot. Um, I already took pharmacology. That was one of our prerequisites to get in the program. But, you know, obviously, you know, we don't cover a whole, whole lot. Um, I mean, you do cover a lot, but not as much as, you know, you will in nursing school. So I'm excited to, I liked pharmacology a lot. It was extremely interesting. And it was actually really challenging for me. Um, I liked the drug calculations. I thought that was fun. I'm kind of, I'm pretty good at math, actually. So I thought it was fun. It does take a bit to get the hang of it. You know, it's a little confusing, but I liked it. I need to brush up on my uh, doses calculations before the, school year starts on Tuesday though so I'm probably going to be doing that this weekend um let's see let's see this is our next book this is the Tabor's Cyclopedic Medical Dictionary um it's just a medical dictionary it tells you you know certain you know phrases words that you might uh you know not be familiar with so you can look them up in here um it has a CD-ROM has brain teasers um, it says explore over 1,000 images plus 300 un unique to the DVD with short definitions and audio pronunciation. So that's nice because sometimes I think I'm a pretty good reader, but sometimes these medical words they just catch off guard. You won't think that they're pronounced a certain way, and they are. So it'll help uh, me not to look like an idiot <laughs> in the clinical setting or in the class, hopefully. So, anyways, there's that book. Um, our next book is Clinical Nursing Skills and Techniques. This is our book for lab and for learning the clinical skills. Uh, it has blood pressure in here. It has starting IVs, NG tubes. Uh, let's see, I just passed a picture of that. Oh gosh, I just need to pick something. Okay, here's a picture. Uh, this is showing uh, doing CPR, which I already took a CPR class this summer. So hopefully I won't need to brush up on that too much. But um, it looks like it's a really good book. This is one of the books that they said that we really needed to have um, by the first day. So I went ahead and got this one. I was able to get this one used, thank goodness. And it's in really good condition. Um, so yeah, it, um, I'm not sure how good this book is. It, it's got a lot of pictures and stuff, so that's nice. I'm, I'm a visual learner. I like to have pictures and stuff. So um, yeah, that looks really awesome too. Um, let's see. Our next book is going to be a big one. This is Kosher and Herbs Fundamentals of Nursing. And this is a monster book. I don't know if you can tell how big this is really, but it is freaking huge. I was really lucky. I found this. This is like one of the other really expensive books. Uh, it was like originally a hundred something dollars. I found this on half.com for $63. So yeah, I got a great deal on this. Um, and this book looks really good too. And even a lot of the times I don't like to buy used books sometimes because they don't come with a CD in them anymore. But this one had the CD, thank God. So yeah, I got really lucky on this one. Um, and this book looks like it's going to be really good too. It's organized well. Um, it has a lot of like of the little box things that I like because that really highlights, um, you know, what's important and stuff like that. So that helps. It, it has a good amount of pictures and stuff like that, so um, I think this is going to be a great book as well. Like I said, I do have one other, um, or two other books that I have not gotten yet. Um, uh, one of them is Success in uh, Nursing from Student to Leader, and then the other one is the uh, Medical Surgical Nursing. I'll put um, a picture of those up. Um, um, on the screen so you can see what those look like. Uh, I've heard the medical surgical book is a really, really good book and it's also a monster book like the Fundamentals of Nursing book is. I'm going to have to end up getting a rolly backpack for these books because we're, I'm guessing we're going to need them pretty much every day in class, um, give or take, you know, a book here or there. I really didn't want to get a rolly backpack. No offense if anybody uses rolly backpacks, but I just think they look lame. Just I don't know why. I don't know why I think that. That's just what I think. But I'm going to end up being a lame-o, too, and uh, using one because I just, it's not worth it. I mean, I know why people use really backpacks. It's not worth it to hurt your back, but I just hate, it's just, it's just funny to carry them. But anyways, uh, this is another book that I have that's not on my book list or anything like that. Um, this is a book that I actually got at Half Price Books for $8. It's a... Um